Okay, this is a piece called Dog Misconnections. It's mis misconnections for dogs. Saw you at the dog run yesterday morning. You were wearing a leather collar and running around in circles. I was wearing a gold collar and trying to have sex with you. <laughs> at one point I managed to mount you and we sort of had sex for a couple of seconds. You shook me off though and ran away. I'm interested in getting to know you a little better. We obviously have chemistry, and even though we just met once, I really sensed a connection. I'll be back at the dog run tomorrow morning. Hope to see you there. <laughs> Saw you at the window of my master's car during a traffic jam. We barked at each other for a while. I thought you made some interesting points. <laughs> Would love to meet up some time for a casual, low-key date. Maybe we'd go to Central Park and eat garbage off the ground, open to anything. Spied you yesterday afternoon helping a blind human cross the street. I can tell you've got a gentle soul and a caring heart. <laughs> Would love to mount you violently from behind and have aggressive <laughs> sex with your body. <laughs> Saw you by the dumpster eating a pile of what appeared to be human vomit. You seemed like somebody who doesn't take himself too seriously. <laughs> Not sure if you're male or female, but either way, I'd love to smell your genitals. Let me know if you're intrigued. Saw you a few hours ago tied to a parking meter outside Zabar's. You had a large cone on your head and seemed frustrated. Life's too short for drama. I think you're cute. Let's meet up sometime and forget about our worries for a while. Smiley dog face. I am neutered, by the way, but no one ever complains. Saw you recently in my master's living room dangling over the side of a couch. You are a long, fleshy tube with a knee in the middle and a sneaker at the end. I tried to hump you, but he kicked me away. Listen, I know you're a leg. And who knows if you'll even read this. But for what it's worth, I just wanted to say, I think you're beautiful. Dog Misconnections, Simon Rich, Last Girlfriend on Earth, and the novel What in God's Name, which is also very funny, a fictional account of, a fictional account of God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the only fictional account of God. <laughs> These books are available for sale after the show, and actually we're taking a little break right now. You'll be out there maybe signing some copies, sure thing, hanging yeah. out with people. Thanks so much, Simon Rich. Thanks. Simon Rich. Hey guys, Thanks we're taking a little break. Uh, uh, About eight minutes, get a drink. The band. Musical guest.